Hello, everybody. My name is Ryan Sokol. I am the, the man behind the spam that invited you here. So uh, I'm very appreciative that you all showed up to listen to some of our smarter folks talk about some tech, uh, specifically front end tech tonight. Uh, hopefully they impress um, and, and hopefully you have a, a better uh, opinion of Uber uh, when you leave because that's the goal of all of this kind of stuff. Uh, for me, I'm the director of engineering for Uber Eats. Uh, maybe you've used it. Maybe you've fed your belly before. Uh, I've been at this company almost four years now and I've met uh, met and worked with some of the best people uh, of my life, uh, some people that are, are far more resilient than, than anyone I'll ever meet again, and, and have really sort of tested the, the boundaries of what, uh, what humans can do. Uh, I've tested myself and pushed myself at points here uh, way beyond what I thought I could do, and, and I, I've never looked back upon that time and said, that was hard. It was like, that was rewarding. That was fulfilling. So uh, my journey here started September of, of 14 and Uber was in the right in the beginning of that little arc there and, and I, I ran um, came in to manage back-end dispatch systems here and dispatch at Uber is at that time was the beating heart of Uber It's the back end is the state machine the matching engine the kind of everything behind all of the apps and um, it would fail every single Friday night uh, one of the the conditions that Uber has is every Friday is almost the busiest night we've ever had and, and that that pattern repeats itself um, in perpetuity. Uh, it's just Friday is the busiest night and, and we go and we go and we go. And then it culminates in New Year's Eve. And then it, the whole cycle starts over again, usually in March. So when I got here, a little did I know that, you know, all of this success and all of these billions of dollars of valuation, uh, we would still fail every single Friday night. Uh, and it would just be people plugging the dam and, and hoping for the best uh, as we survive. So got to rebuild some tech from the back end up. Uh, we use a lot of Node.js. So you all might know about that. We use Node.js uh, to, to power all of the servers um, for the dispatching systems. Five core services at Uber are still powered by Node.js today. So um, Node on the back end and for real. Uh, prior to this, I did the same thing at Voxer, uh, which is at one point in the beginnings of Node uh, was the, the biggest Node deployment in the world. Um, so um, about a year and a half into that journey, I, I got a chance to take on something more product facing and that's when Eats was in its infancy. Uh, today, Eats is, uh, as last reported by Dara, a $6 billion annual business. Um, the only business that matches it in its growth rate uh, is UberX. So we're pretty proud of that. Um, and it's pretty fun to see Uber be able to mimic things uh, like that again. Um, we were split into a bunch of teams in here and in New York City. About 200 of us work on the product today. We work on the restaurant side of the marketplace. Uh, we work on the eater side of the marketplace and then the courier side of the marketplace, which is a set of tools and, and services that actually work on what's a lot harder job than picking a person up. Uh, picking a person up, pretty standard. You drive up to a curb, there's a set of maps to get you to the next destination. If, it, if something goes wrong, the person in the back of the car can tell you what's up and, and help you get there. When you go to pick up a set of fries at McDonald's, there's not as much help. You gotta find parking, you gotta navigate a, a building, you gotta go, go inside, you gotta talk to people, gotta come back out, gotta repeat the whole thing, gotta put an apartment code in, and meanwhile, the fries don't talk to you. Uh, so it's a lot harder problem, and, and the folks that work in our courier um, uh, tooling uh, work their butts off to make that happen. For us, uh, the web is, is super important, specifically in the realm of tooling, uh, specifically in onboarding, onboarding of restaurants, onboarding of couriers and a bunch of visual, visualizations sort of work their way into the way we manage our cities today. Uh, so web is, is, is almost, none of it is seen by the customer. We do have ubereats.com and we're currently in the middle of revamping that, um, but it is crucial uh, to how we run and, and manage our business today. Uh, and the, some of the tools we have here are the most advanced pieces of software that one could ever imagine and more complex uh, by far than any of the mobile apps we have. So. That's me. Um, I can answer a few questions, but the smart people uh, are here to talk to you. Uh, Leo, Alex, and Sean all have presentations to do. 